What was that? See at the end. Dad's gone to get coffee. It's always good. Nothing's changed here. Full script. I'm here working and Dad's buying coffee. Same, same. It's always been. All right, guys. So we will get started. I'm sure might, we might have a few extra people jump in. But um, let's come down on the floor to start with. And just start with a little bit of cat cow. So we just go onto our hands and knees. And I just want you to tuck your tail so you really bump in. And then just round through your spine, your cage pushes down towards the floor. And we're just going to work through that cat cow. So just limbering our spines a little. So equipment that we may need today, guys, and of course I always give options as we know for those who don't have stuff. But I did I did want to do some gifts today. So if you have a chair or a bench or something that you can use or a table and um also, if you obviously can just do normal push-ups, and also I'm going to give the option for hamstring slides. So if you have a slider or a slippery floor or something you can use, then you'll get those. All right. So from there, guys, let's just warm up our wrists a little. So just shoulders around your wrists. So just pushing through the floor with straight arms. Just nice big circles around. And just slowly start to tip your shoulders forwards over your fingers. And let's change direction back the other way. So shoulders tipping forwards over the fingers, nice big circles. All right, and then as always, guys, just some first knuckle push ups. So just folding through the hands. We're just going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And one, and then fingers spin back towards the knees, and then just very gently rocking in and out of that position. Just a couple more of these. All right, and then coming out of there, up onto two fists with the palms facing in, and then just gently to the backs of the hands. All right, and then again, guys, from there, coming up, interlace your fingers, just roll off the wrist, couple of nice big circles. All right, and then ankles. So back to our heads and knees and just draw some big circles with your toes. Just pointing the toes, pulling the toes back towards the shin. And change direction back the other way. All right, and then just as always, again, just stretching out the big toes. So tuck that toe under, give your bottom of the foot a bit of a stretch, and then just untuck the toes, lift the knees off the floor. All right, and then guys, we warm up our neck a little bit. So I just want you to come to a high kneeling position. Just clench your fists and pull your shoulders down away from your ears. And then let's just go chin to chest and then gaze tracks back along the ceiling. So just working through some flexion extensions. The so chin to chest and gaze tracks back. And make sure that you're up nice and tall. And I did say this yesterday in the prehab and stretch class that we're probably spending a little bit more time sort of at a desk because we're not like commuting or walking around and stuff as much as we were. So making sure that you do this sort of next stuff on a daily basis is really important. All right, so from there, guys, we're just going to look over our right shoulder, back to the centre, over the left. I do encourage people to have a stick handy and get up every hour and maybe do a few dislocates and do your neck cars. All right, and then back to the centre and then lateral flexion, guys. So just ear to shoulder center and the other side. So just working through that. A little bit of a stretch down through the side of the neck. All right, and then from there, we're gonna put all of that together. So you're just gonna go chin to chest, rotate your head to the side, side bend and circle your head backwards into side bend, rotation, chin to chest and up. And then back the other way, chin to chest, rotate, little side bend, big circle, and just do a couple more of these. 
Lifting through the chin and the jaw as your head tilts backwards. All right. And then from there, finishing the rep that you're on, pop your fingertips onto your shoulders and draw those circles with the elbows, squeezing your shoulder blades together. So just pulling your elbows backwards. We're just going to go for another three. Two. And one. And then change direction back the other way. So big circles for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And then guys, out back onto our hands and knees are just your usual hip circles. So knees, elbow. Big circle one way and then back the other way. So just drawing the biggest circle you can, making sure that you're sucking your belly button in, trying not to use your lower back too much. Arms stay nice and straight. We're just going to work through another couple of these guys and then we'll change to the other side. So maybe. Let's just do one more rep. And then changing over to the other side. So other leg guys, knee to elbow, draw a circle with that knee and then reversing the other way. Knee to elbow out to the side. And back the other way. Nice, guys. So just a couple more of these. All right. And then from there, let's just come to standing. Just want you to take your hands onto your hips and just a few big circles with the hips. Push your hips to the side. Hips press backwards, side and forwards. <clears throat> just working through. A few more of those. All right, and change direction back the other way. Big circles around. Guys, don't forget if you're doing these classes, like chuck some music on or something if you can, because it does make it a little bit more interesting or exciting. All right, so from there, guys, we're going to just start to warm up a little bit. We're going to do the squat walkout to a plank that I always do. But when we get out into the plank position, we're going to just pop our knees on the floor and do one push up. Okay, so what it looks like is going to squat down. You're going to walk out into the plank position, knees to the floor, do a push up, and then pop back to your toes, and then walk back to your squat and standing up. And we're just going to work through that for about 60 seconds. Okay, so squatting down, walking out, so getting ready, starting in three, two, and off you go. So squat down, walk out into a plank position. You can pop your knees on the floor, just do one push up. Then back to your toes, walk back and standing up. Nice, and just keep working through that, guys. You squat down, you walk out, knees to the floor, and then <clears throat> back and standing up. That's it, just keep walking through. It doesn't need to be fast, guys. We are just warming up. So squatting down, knees onto the floor. Well done, guys, you've got just over 20 seconds left, so it's just going to be a few more reps. Like I said, doesn't need to be super quick. You've got 15 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one, stopping their awesome work. All right, so into your uh, downward facing dog now, guys. We're just gonna walk our heels into the floor and then just go through that little sequence that I've been doing this week where we take legs to the sky, like a little bit of a yoga sequence, just a nice way to warm up. So what you're going to do, guys, if you just get into that, like you're on a stepping machine, so you're in the downward facing dog and you're just pushing one heel down and then the other heel down, and you're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch into your calves and your hamstrings. And then we're going to take we're taking our leg into the sky into a single leg dog, going into a high lunge and then back into that single leg downward dog. So if you just listen to the cues carefully, you should be able to follow along. So from this downward facing dog position, take your right leg up to the sky into a single leg downward dog. Now keeping your leg there, rock your shoulders forwards over your hand. 
then pull your knee towards your chest and step into a lunge position. Sweep your hands up overhead into that high lunge position. Hold there a moment. And then from there, bring your hands back to the floor. Take that front leg back to the sky. That's one rep. So then again, knee to chest. Sit forward, step through. Hands up overhead, hold a moment. Hands back to the floor and leg to the sky. That's two. Rock forwards, pull your knee to your chest, step through. Hands to the sky. And then hands back to the floor. Take that leg back to the sky, into that single leg down the dog. Then bring that leg down. Maybe a couple more little steps into the floor with the heels. And then we'll go other sides. Take your left leg for me up to the sky, rock forwards, knee to chest, and then step through into that high lunge position. And then bring the hands to the floor and take your leg back to the sky. That's one rep. And then again, knee to chest, step through, sweeping hands up overhead. And then hands to the floor, push through the floor, take your leg to the sky, that's two. Rock your shoulders forward, pull your knee in, step through, high lunge, hands to the floor, and leg back to the sky, that's three, nice. Bring your leg back down guys, and then again, step into the team, just alternating heels into the floor. Awesome, knees to the floor, press back to child's pose, stretch out your lower back. All right, last thing to warm up guys, before we get into our first set of so the accessory exercises is just to go into from this straddle position. We're just going to go down into your Cossack, rotate into your low lunge, rotate back to your Cossack, work across to the other side. Then you're just going to limber through the hips and the hamstrings and adductors. And you're just staying low, walking across. So we've got 60 seconds, guys. So you come down into a Cossack position, rotate into a low lunge position. Rotate back to a Cossack and then walk your hands across. And now we'll go Cossack, low lunge, Cossack, and just keep switching one side to the other. Nice one, guys. So just working through there, just really waking up those hamstrings and adductors and knees and ankles. Nice, you've got just over 30 seconds left, just one side, the other side. Should be feeling pretty warm after this, guys. <clears throat> nice, you've got about 15 seconds. My coffee's arrived, but guys, don't worry. It's all right, I'm okay. <laughs> you've got last 10 seconds. Alrighty, well done team. So from there, come up. If you need to grab a quick drink then, please do. We're just gonna have a warm up ish type set of exercises with the first one being an arch body hold. Now, if you have a mini band, you can pop it around your ankles and in your arch body hold position, you can do little pulses, okay? Through your glutes. So guys, grab a mini band and I know, do we still have sets of those blocks and mini bands left then? Then, do we still have sets of the mini bands and blocks left? Sorry. Oh, the mini bands and blocks, do we still have sets of those left? Yeah. Guys, so if you don't have that stuff, you should know that um, if you want some, and I think most of you do seem to have it, but if you want some, we do have some here. That Seven. There's still some sets left if people want that. But yeah, grab, if, so if you need it, guys, coming in. I don't know if everyone's got it. All right, so guys, let's lie down onto the floor with the mini band around your ankles. Oh, good, it looks like, apart from the two videos that aren't started, it looks like everyone's got one, that's good. All right, so lying down onto the floor, guys. We're gonna lift up into your arch body hold position, and you're gonna do little pulses with the band around your ankles, all right? If you don't have the band for the guys who haven't started their video, then just hold in your arch body, all right? 45 seconds, getting ready? Starting in three, Two and one, off we go. So lift up into that position, guys, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now make sure your elbows are in line with your shoulders. There's a tendency for us to pull them down towards our hips and keep in here. We wanna actually open and retract the shoulder blades. And then just pulsing those legs. So just little pulses. 
Really squeeze your glutes, lock your knees out straight. Nice work, guys. We've got about 30 seconds left, just pulsing there. Nice, you've got last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then from there, guys, just press back through child's pose. Now leave the mini band around your ankles and just make your way to standing. If you don't, now there's only two people who haven't got their video on, and if they don't have a mini band, you can just come onto the floor and just go through some bridging up and down, okay? Those who have the mini band, we are gonna do that, the static lateral banded walk. So mini band around your ankles, you're going three steps one way and three steps the other way, okay? So if you don't have a mini band, you're just bridging. Those who have one at bands around your ankles, bend your knees and stick your butt out, turn your toes in. And then from there, guys, just one, two, three, all right? And one, two, three. And just keeping that tension on the band the whole time, butt stuck out, toes turn in, so we're leading with the heel. We're just going for time, guys. Three steps one way, three steps the other way. Nice work, guys. You've got about 20 seconds left, just keeping that little tempo going. Three steps one way, three steps the other. Nice, guys. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Stopping there. Awesome work. All right. So next exercise, guys, we're going to do table rocks. So fingers out to the side. You're going to roll your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then from here, you're just going to press through your heels, lift your hips up, and coming back down. Okay, so getting ready. We've got 10 of these all together. So let's roll your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then from here, just lift up, hold, and coming down. That's one. Lift up, hold, and down for two. Up, and down, that's three. Lift up, hold, and down, that's four. Up, and down for five. Lift up, hold, and down, that's six. Lift up, and down, that's seven. Up, and down, that's eight, up, and down for nine. Last one, lift up and hold at the top. So lift up, squeeze your glutes and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so coming down from there, guys, roll your shoulders off a couple of times. So we are now going to go into fourth exercise and then we'll do another round. It's the horse stance squats up and down with a horse stance hot squat hold at the end, okay? So we're gonna go 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So let's take your feet nice and wide, toes turn out. You guys should know the draw that we're kind of irradiating and pulling the knees backwards. Of course, if you have a little weight and you wanna make this a bit harder, you can, but we are still just warming up, all right? So getting ready. Let's just start with the squats up and down. So we're just squatting down and then standing up. And pull your knees backwards, find a stretch through the hips. It should feel quite nice, like stretching and opening up the hips in this position. Just keep working through that, guys. When we get to the end, we're going to hold for 30 seconds and we're going to be uh, irradiating whilst we're holding. So come down and you've got just under 10 seconds left. Maybe one more rep, guys, and then on your next rep, let's hold at the bottom. So you've got 30 seconds in that position. Now squeeze your legs, pull your knees open and irradiate tension. So we want to keep pulling and sinking your bum down, finding that stretch. You've got 20 seconds left just holding there. Legs will start to burn a little bit, which is good. You've got last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one, standing up. Nice, guys, shake your legs off. All right, back to your arch body hold with the band around your ankles. So back onto the floor for me. Nice, guys, so back onto the floor. All 
All right. <clears throat> so getting ready. You've got 45 seconds starting in three, two, and one. Band around your ankles, little pulses, guys. So retract your shoulder blades. <clears throat> Remember, elbows are out in line with the shoulders as opposed to down by your hips. Nice one, guys. We've got 25 seconds left. Last 15 seconds. Oh, keep squeezing your glutes, guys, retracting your shoulder blades. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one well done guys press back through child's pose stretch out that lower back keep your band around your ankles you've got your lateral banded walk so standing up all right so toes turned in guys bend your knees stick your butt out and getting ready starting in three two and one off we go so leading with the heel three steps one way three steps the other way So remember, knees are bent, bums are stuck out, toes are turned in. Keep tension on the band the whole time. You've got 20 seconds left. My daughter's um, not at school today, she's on puppy duty and she's starting to learn the reality of what it's like to look after a child. I feel like the puppy is teaching her to think before she has a baby. She's like, keeps looking at me like, he's not happy, what's he doing? He won't, oh. I'm like, this is what it's like having a kid, yeah? Last three, two, and one. For those who don't have children, it's not too late to save yourselves, yeah? All right, so guys, we're gonna go into our table rock. So down onto the floor, fingers out to the side. I say that to one of my best mates, she's a lot younger than me. And she's like talking about like, oh, maybe we don't have kids. And I'm like, look, it's not too late. You don't have to do it. All right, getting ready, guys. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. I'm only joking. I love my kids. All right, let's go, guys. Lift those hips up. Hold at the top. And coming down. That's one. Good. Lift up. Hold. And down. That's two. Lift up. Hold. And down for three. Lift up. Hold. Squeeze your butt too, guys. And down. That's four. Now, remember, look at the ceiling. Don't look at your knees. Lift up. Hold. And down. That's five. Lift up. Hold. And down for six. Lift up. Hold. And down. That's seven. Lift up. And down for eight. Up. And down. That's nine. Lift up. And let's hold at the top. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and coming out. All right, last round of horse stance to um, the squat, horse stance squats to the hold. So into that wide leg position, guys, knees pull backwards. All right, and then getting ready, and off we go. Let's sink down, knees pull open. And standing up. Let's work through 30 seconds of these. So sinking down, pulling those knees back and standing up. Well done, guys. You've got 20 seconds left. Of these squats up and down. So remember, we are radiating, squeezing tension. Well done, guys. You've got last rep and now on your next one come down to the bottom hold in that position squeeze your legs flex everything yeah try to make the muscles pop out of your legs you've got 20 seconds left nice one guys last 15 seconds come on stay with me bums down legs are burning a little bit that's good last five four three two and one stopping there all right well done guys so come out there shake off grab 
bit of a drink if you need. Now, options, yeah? We always have options. So, <clears throat> I would like us to work through a single leg, kind of essentially a, a single leg RDL or what looks like a warrior three pose in yoga. Now, if you've done lower body strength stuff or base strong, you'll know that we, if you've got a weight, you can use a kettlebell, for example, in the hand. So my right foot stays on the floor. I can have a kettlebell. Can I do this yoga box kettlebell? And I can come down and up. Now, if you don't have that, that's totally fine. But what I do suggest is you just really slow it down. So if you've done hip prehab, you'll know that when we do this in hip prehab, we don't usually don't add weight to it. But just slow and controlled will make that supporting leg really burn. Okay, and all those stabilizing muscles in the hip. I quite like, if you need to, a yoga block in the hand, and that just helps us balance in that position. So I just wanted my three legs, my left leg's gonna come out behind. I'm gonna come down and find my balance essentially in a warrior three pose, or it looks like a single leg remaining desert. And then I'll come up, yeah? And we're just gonna work through that. Now, rather than going for reps, I'm gonna get you just to go for time. Okay, so we'll have 45 seconds and you should get 10, at least 10 reps done in that time. Even just doing that, guys, I can start to feel those muscles firing up straight away because there's a lot of balance there as well, all right? So if you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, then you can use it. Otherwise, maybe a yoga block, yeah? So getting ready, choose a leg. Now, if I'm working on my right leg, I have the weight of the yoga block in my right hand, okay? My left leg goes out behind, so you just tilt forward. Now take a moment in this position to find your balance and then standing up. So it's slowing it down, as you guys should know, that makes it a little bit more challenging, a little bit more time under tension there. So guys, we're working 45 seconds. So just in and out of that, you should have started by now. Let's just go. Leg goes back. Now the leg that stays on the floor, that knee is not locked out straight. I want you to unlock your knee. So it's got a very soft bend in it. And your hips are trying to stay square to the floor. You're just going to take your time there, find your balance for a second or two with that leg out behind and get some tension in the back leg as well. So squeeze that leg and lift it up like a table position, yeah? You've got last five seconds or so, so perhaps just one more rep. <clears throat> last three, two and one stopping there awesome work all right so other side guys getting ready now cast was going for example like a full yoga warrior three which is great because now i'm even challenging my balance more i don't have any support with that yoga block on the floor all right so getting ready starting in three two and one off we go so unlock the working leg knee and then coming up imogen that's what is that a little dumbbell what is that little thing it looks very <laughs> with a little handle on it. Nice, guys. Just working through that up and down. We have all our options. We have a weight. We have a hand or a yoga block to the floor. We have arms out in front. Finding your balance. Taking your time. Working on your stability here. You've got about 15 seconds left. Nice, guys. Last 10. Last three, two, and one, stopping there. All right. So guys, we're now gonna go into a front support or press up position, and we're just gonna do a combo, okay? Just to keep things a bit interesting. So what you're going to do is from this press up position, you're gonna go one, two, shoulder taps, three, four. So four shoulder taps, and then you can pop your knees to the floor and do two push ups. okay? One, two, and then you're back to the toe, one, Two, three, four, knees to the floor, two push-ups. Now, of course, if you have push-ups without the knees on the floor, then you can keep the knees off the floor, okay? So it's four shoulder taps, two push-ups, and you're going to work for 60 seconds, okay? So let's come into a plank position. I won't be calling the count. You've just got to remember that and work on it on your own for 60 seconds. So getting ready, guys, starting in three, two, and one, off we go. So four shoulder taps. Then two push-ups, either knees on or off the floor. And just keep working through that, guys. 
Now, it might be that at the start, you're able to keep those knees off the floor and then towards the end of 60 seconds, you want to pop your knees onto the floor. That's totally fine. Whichever one, guys, we want to keep maintain that integrity through your body. So you want to keep the slight posterior pelvic tilt. You don't want to go into a lumbar extension in the lower back. We want to make sure that we're protecting our back whenever we're in any of the front support positions. And you've got just over 20 seconds left, guys. So four shoulder taps, two push-ups. Last 15 seconds. Nice, last five, four, three, two, and one, stopping there. Well done, guys. All right, we're gonna go back to that exercise. So the single leg RDLs, yeah? We're good. If you have a weight and you want to use it, then grab it. And guys, when you're balancing, if you've not got the weight, really just challenge yourself. Like I said, slowing it down. And you can even hold in that balance position a little bit longer and then coming up. The other thing you might want to do to make this harder, I see my back leg. Before we were just standing up, popping that leg back to the floor, okay? What you can actually do is come from here and then bring your knee up in front so my left leg for that whole time never touches the floor, okay? I pull it into hip flexion and then it goes out behind. So it never actually gives me a support or balance on the floor, okay? So getting ready, starting in three, two, and one, off you go. So that's how we can now make it harder is by taking that back leg and pulling the knee up towards the chest. And again, you're having to find your balance without ever putting that free leg on the floor. Nice one, guys. Just keep nice and slow and controlled. We tend to rush these things if we find it hard because it's a bit easier usually to rush it. Slowing it down tends to make it hard. You've got about 15 seconds left. Last three, two, and one. Stopping there. All right, other side. Getting ready and off we go. Nice guys. Just finding your balance. Notice if one side's harder than the other. You've got just over 25, you've got just over 20 seconds left. Nice guys, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, finishing the rep that you're on. All right, so guys, we're gonna go back to front support, four shoulder taps, Two push-ups. So getting ready, maybe you can start with those knees on the, off the floor and then you have to transition to knees on the floor. 60 seconds. Starting in three, two, and one, off we go. So really irradiate tension through the body. So I, for me, the core position is really important. I don't want you to sort of be sagging through your midsection. Open your chest a little bit as you come down in that push-up. So you don't want to be all hunchy with your shoulders. Shoulders down away from your ears. <clears throat> nice and controlled and slow on the way down in those push-ups, so there's no need for us to rush them. We do have dips as well coming up, guys, so <clears throat> you might just want to stick with knees on the floor. That's quite a lot of pushing. You've got 15 seconds left. Nice, guys. Last, uh, uh, no, sorry, you've got 20 seconds left. I was thinking we're going to 45. Sorry, I lied. <laughs> you now have 15 seconds left. You're like, damn it, oh dear. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stopping there. Well done, guys. All right, so let's stand up. I would like us to go through one more round if we can. And like I said, making sure that we're, if we can, challenging ourselves knee up in front. 
Now, when you bring this knee up in front, guys, remember as well, we are working a little bit of compression strength. It's only gentle, but we can really pull this knee up, okay? So I feel my hip flexor working right now. And then I transition that leg out to the back. Okay, so we can start to just make sure that we're being more intentional with this movement, all right? So getting ready, let's come to standing. Grabbing your weight, grabbing your yoga block, whatever you're using, starting in three, two, and one, off we go. So leg comes out behind, and then if we can, we're slowly pulling that knee and squeezing our hip flexor to bring that knee up in front. Now your supporting leg really should be burning quite a bit as you work through this, okay? All those little stabilizing muscles waking up. <clears throat> so I know we can't always be lifting heavy weights when we're training at home, but this is awesome work. You'll probably find after you do a couple of weeks of this type of training, you come back into the gym and you go, oh my, dead this a little bit better or things seem a little bit more awake. Because we have no choice but to irradiate and use tension <clears throat> to create some strength and stability. Last five. So that's finishing the rep that you're on. All right, and then let's change over to the other leg. So getting ready, starting in three, two, and one, off you go. So leg goes out behind, and then drawing your knee up in front. Then, is Charlie still out there? Yeah. I'm like, like Charlie and Doug have been abducted. All right. I lost my daughter and my dog for a bit. They seem to have been gone for a very long time. Last 20 seconds, guys. It's a bit of a mad house at this gym at the moment. Dogs and everywhere. Last 10 seconds, guys. Finding your balance. Last three, two, and one, stopping there. All right, so last round of your front shoulder taps to push up. <clears throat> so getting ready, and then we'll be moving on, guys, to something else. So getting ready, <clears throat> starting in three, two, and one, off we go. So two, four shoulder taps, two push-ups. Nice, guys. You've got 60 seconds of this. So just nice and controlled. You've got 25 seconds left. Well done, guys. Last 20 seconds. Last 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Stopping there. Well done, guys. Awesome work. All right. So we're going to now go Cossacks and dips, okay? So grab yourself a quick drink. Now with your Cossacks, a lot of you have full Cossacks unsupported, which is great. If you don't, I suggest something to hold on to as long as it's stable is just going to be like a door frame or a door handle if the door is closed. And you can just do Cossacks like you do at the store box where you use something as a little bit of support. Okay, maybe the side of the couch, whatever it is. Obviously, guys, we can work partial range. So as we sink down, our straight leg knee turns up towards the sky, bent leg knees over the toe and then coming up. And if you can get all the way down into the bottom of the Cossack, then please do. If you have a weight and you want to, hold it on your chest. We'll just go 60 seconds alternating to keep it simple, okay? So getting ready, guys. Let's come up into that position using whatever you need, whatever support you've got. Some of us have got dumbbells and stuff, which is great. So getting ready, starting in three, two, and one, off you go. So just one side and then the other side. So that bent knee pushes over the toe. Straight leg knee is turning up to the sky. 
and we're doing our best effort to get down as low as we can. Peter, can you go your feet a tiny bit wider for me? Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that will be better. Nice one, guys. So make sure bent knee track. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Bent knee tracks over the toe. So we don't want, it's not wrong to have like different knee positions, but just when you first do something, you want to try and make it like this stricter form and then we can play around. But knees tracking over the toe, so we don't load the inside of the knee too much. Hey, okay, that looks way better. You've got last 10 seconds or so. Last five, four, Three, two, and one, stopping there. All right. So, guys, I would like us, if we can, to do dips. Now, you should know, let me grab a bench. We should know you can literally just use a chair. So, grabbing a chair from the kitchen or something, you can use a couch, isn't ideal because it's too squishy, but just a hardish surface if we can. Now, guys, if you are using a chair, please just be mindful. And I know it sounds a bit obvious, but it doesn't slide out from underneath you. So if you think it's going to slide, then wedge it up against the wall or something. And then from here, guys, we're just going to go coming down and then pushing up, all right? So we're going to go 10 reps. Now, for whatever reason you can't do dips, maybe an option might be a um, reverse plank, so coming into like our table rock position but with straight legs. And for the duration while everyone's doing dips, we're just holding in that position okay so that might be an option just to work some shoulder extension okay so getting ready let's come into our dip position we'll do 10 reps all together to my count all right so fingers over the edge roll your shoulders back squeeze your shoulder blades together and then from here just coming down for three two and one and pushing up that's one down three two and one and up for two three two and one that's three, three, two, and one. That's four, three, two, one. That's five, three, two, and one. Six, three, two, and one. That's seven, three, two, one. Eight, you've got two more guys. Three, two, and one. That's nine. Three, two, and one. That's ten. Well done, team. Roll your shoulders off. Maybe roll your wrists off a couple of times. So let's go back into cross acts now, grabbing your weight if you were using it, finding your support if you were using it. So 60 seconds alternating sides. Getting ready? Starting in three, two, and one, off we go. Nice work, guys. So just coming down, knee tracks over the toe, straight leg knee turns up towards the sky. Nice work, guys. Just one side and then the other side. <clears throat> You've got 30 seconds left. Last 20 seconds. Well done, guys. It's good. Cossacks are looking good everywhere. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one stopping there well done guys shake your legs off all right coming up back to our dips again <clears throat> so getting ready fingers over the edge shoulders roll back 10 reps to my count all right so getting ready and off we go down for three two and one and pushing up that's one Three, two, and one. That's two, three, two, one, three, three, two, one, 
That's four, three, two, and one. Five, three, two, and one. That's six, three, two, and one. That's seven, three, two, and one. That's eight, three, two, one. That's nine, three, two, and one. That's 10. Nice guys, all right, you've got one more round guys. So again, roll off the wrists. <clears throat> Just one more round, Cossacks and dips. All right. So getting ready guys, grabbing your weight, grabbing your support, starting in three, two, and one, off you go. So 60 seconds. Nice guys. You've got just over 30 seconds left. That's it. And straight leg knee turns up to the sky, bent leg knee over the toe. Last 10 seconds. Last and last rep there, guys, stopping there. All right. <clears throat> so last set of dips. All right, so fingers over the edge. Have a short break after this, guys, before we move on to our sort of final set of things. All right, so getting ready, let's roll our shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. All right, and then off we go, coming down for three, two, and one. That's one. Three, two, and one. Two, three, two, and one. That's three, three, two, and one. That's four, three, two, one. That's five, three, two, and one. That's six, four more. Three, two, and one. That's seven, three, two, and one. That's eight, three, two, and one, that's nine, three, two, and one, that's 10. Awesome work. All right, well done guys. Let's grab yourself a quick drink if you need one. Roll off the wrist as well. It can be a little bit heavy on the um, wrist sometimes. So guys, we're going to do a wall sit. Now I'm going to assume most of you have a wall space where you can do a wall sit, all right? So we're just gonna go for 60 seconds. You're gonna find yourself a little space up against a wall. And you're gonna bring your knees underneath your, uh, ankles underneath your knees. Knees in line with your hips back and shoulders against the wall. Guys, I know how to cheat a wall sit, okay? So you don't wanna bring your feet out like this and push back into the wall. This is not a wall sit, okay? I'm not actually using my legs now, really. All right, so you wanna make sure butt is in line with the knees and ankles are underneath the knees and you've got 60 seconds, all right? So finding yourself a little space and we're just gonna hold there and you can irradiate as much tension as you feel comfortable with in that position, all right? So getting ready, coming down <clears throat> and off we go guys, 60 seconds holding there. So bum is in line with the knees, ankles are in line with the knees, back is against the wall and please don't, Um, please don't uh, have your feet out in front, yeah? Or rest your hands on your knees. Nice one, guys. Just remembering to breathe. So at first, they always, wall sits always feel easy and then the legs really start to burn. So legs might be starting to burn a little bit by now. You've got 30 seconds left. 
<clears throat> nice guys, you've got just over 20 seconds left. Nice guys, you've got last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stopping there. Awesome, all right. So guys, we're now gonna go into some tuck ups and then some little crunches, okay? So we're gonna go 15 tuck ups and 15 little crunches, all right? So let's go down onto the floor. You guys should know what I mean by that. So we're, we'll go, actually we'll do 30 crunches. So let's go tuck ups like this fairly quickly. Then you'll pop your feet flat on the floor and do 30 little crunches, all right? So getting ready, let's lie onto your back. Remember, if you in any of these, if you ever need to stop, we've always got a bent arch body hold if we need to, but you've got to work hard in that and crunch as well, all right? So 15 tuck ups, guys. Legs out, getting ready, and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three. Four and five. Awesome, guys. All right. So from there, feet flat on the floor. Now, remember, you want to tuck your tail, push your lower back into the floor, crunch up, reach your hands forwards, and then little pulses here. We've got 30 of these little crunches, yeah? Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really squeeze your abs. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Stopping there. Well done, guys. All right, we're going back to our wall sit. So let's come back up. Sixty seconds back in your wall sit position. Flying through it today. I've really cracked the whip on these. Uh, these online sessions because I don't have to listen to anything that anyone says. Is that really me? <laughs> All right, guys, I get so sick of the sound of my own voice to say anything to entertain myself. All right, guys, let's go back to our wall sit. 60 seconds. So getting ready, coming down into that position, ankles underneath the knees, knees in line with the hips, and off we go, guys. Now remember, no resting your hands on your knees, yeah? I want back against the wall, shoulders back, chest up. Well done, guys. Just keep holding and breathing in that position. So at some point, it's going to start to burn a little bit. <clears throat> nice, guys. So breathing. <clears throat> nice. You've got 30 seconds left. So your legs are probably on fire a little bit now. You've got... Last 20 seconds. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stopping there. All right. So, guys, let's go back into those tuck ups again. 15 tuck ups. Getting ready, starting in three on the floor, two, and one, off we go, guys. Let's tuck up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four and five. Nice guys. All right. So let's go back onto the floor, feet flat on the floor, getting ready and little crunches. 
Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30. Well done, guys. We are going to do one more round and then we'll be done. Yeah, so let's come back to the wall sit. Now, if you wanted to, just for a bit of variety and stuff, with the wall sit, while you're in this position, what you could do is shift your weight to left leg, really squeeze, hold, straighten out that leg, hold a second, and then shift to the other side. And we just keep working through one side and then the other side. Yeah? They're still the same time. Right, so getting ready guys, let's come to wall sit, alternating legs if you want to just add that little bit of more stimulus there. All right, so getting ready, 60 seconds starting in three, two, and one, off we go. So either just holding the wall sit, now if you do the straight leg one guys, you really need to shift onto one side, squeeze, straighten your leg, come back to that wall sit, you need some push up. <laughs> You've got 45 seconds left, guys. So just either holding or alternating the leg. It's quite challenging actually to straighten the leg out. There's quite a lot, like a, you've got to really balance. You've got 30 seconds left. Nice work, guys. We're nearly done for today. Last little bit. So we'll just do those abs after this and then we'll be done. Last 20 seconds. Well done, guys. 15 seconds to go. Legs are probably burning a little bit by now. Like I said, wall sits always seem easy and then they catch up with you pretty quickly. You've got last five, four, three, two, and one coming out of that position. Well done, guys. And then we'll pop down onto the floor for our last round of Cossack, uh, last round of tuck ups and crunches. Alrighty, so guys, if you are holding the bent hollow body position, please make sure that you're like actively crunching in that position. It's easy to cheat in a bent hollow and not do anything. So if you're in that position, you're just holding, tuck your tail, push your lower back and actively crunch into the bent hollow body, okay? So let's go into our tuck ups to start with. So lying onto your back, arms up overhead. Some of us are doing V snaps, which is great. All right, so getting ready and off we go. Coming up for one and down, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, one, two, three, four, and five awesome work all right guys from there we've got our crunches so feet flat on the floor now like i said as well in this one the same deal crunch up you're crunching the entire time you're pulsing okay so getting ready and off we go let's go for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we were only doing thirty. I was taking you to fifty. Let's finish that instead of ten. Awesome work, guys. All right. So once you finish that, you can flip over onto your belly and lift up onto your elbows. I think it's because I did those the other day myself and I did 50 instead of 30. All right, so lift up guys and just stretch out your abs a little bit. Take a couple of nice deep breaths in. And as always guys, I do suggest that we stretch out our lower back. So maybe you wanna come into child's pose or perhaps into happy baby or just lying onto the floor. If you wanna hang around on your mat guys and do a few stretches, then of course go for it. Otherwise, if um, pretty much 10.30, we are done. 
If anyone's got any questions or anything, please just let me know. As if it's nice weather over the weekend, we are still allowed to go outdoors. So please make sure you're getting outside and getting some sunshine. We're told so much to not go anywhere, but as much as you can, you really should. I know you can still socially distance. Get out, go for a walk around Manly Dam or something. It's really good for your health, yeah? Fresh air, sunshine, good for your immune system. Any questions, guys, please just let me know. Otherwise, have a lovely weekend. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs>